Welcome. In this episode, as promised, I'm going to run through the things that we do to make ourselves be more self-sufficient, lighter on the road, and last a lot, lot longer off-grid. And I'm going to cook that Christmas cake in the Travel Buddy. I just thought I'd share one of our tips. We like to have fresh greens. Sometimes we make sprouts. So I've just got this packet of alfalfa sprouts. The spoon to measure it. A tablespoon of sprouts, sprout seeds go into the jar with warm water and sit overnight and then the next day twice a day after that you just rinse them with cool clean water we use our filtered water because we don't want the chlorine that we sometimes pick up into the tanks to kill the sprouts so you just open the jar this jar is actually purpose made for sprout making One tablespoon into the jar. Beautiful. So then you just cover the sprouts with some water and the lid. And in about oh, five to seven days, we'll have fresh greens for our wraps and that sort of thing. You can also buy different seeds like Asian greens that can go in there. So we've got a packet of those. So we can mix up what greens we have. And of course, then I've got my little veggie gardens. So we'll show you those as well. I'm about to start making our Christmas cake. So what I'm gonna do is first soak our fruit. So I'm just gonna open the fruit. Put it in the container. And I've just bought the cheapest sherry that I could get here in Cal and I'm just going to put that in the container. Smells good. I soak that, I'll probably soak it for a couple of days. And then make the cake. So this is day two of the sprouts. And I don't know if you can see, but right there, they're starting to sprout already. This is day three. Self-sufficient wise, we have a veggie garden, which I'll show you now. We've got capsicum, tomato, chilli, spinach, spring onion, coriander, chives, parsley, all growing in there. Hi. As you're aware, we've said previously that we are as self-sufficient as we possibly can be on the road. And we also are trying to stay off grid as long as possible. So to do that, we have some certain things that we do to reduce weight in the van and also uh, so that we can be off the grid for way longer. So to start with, I make our own yogurt so and just so you know we're not getting any payments from any of this stuff this is just truly the things that we use the convenient things that we use to do what we're doing the yogurt maker uh, just means that we've got a, a good additive to our breakfast or we can add fruit to it 
and that sort of stuff. We buy the natural unsweetened and the Greek style. Both because they're plain, it means that we can add what we want. We can make dips with it. I'll give you a quick run through. So while we wait for the kettle to boil, we fill this half with water, drinking water, between 15 to 20 degrees, it suggests. You pick which sachet. I'm going to go with Greek. The sachets last quite a while too, so which is great compared to you know buying yogurt you have to eat it so quickly these um, sachets once they're made up the yogurt will last for approximately two weeks it suggests okay put the lid on shake it add more water another good shake. You fill the hot water up to the top of the red thing in here. The kettle's boiled. Pour it in. Then we put that in there carefully because it's very hot water. Put the lid on and in 10 hours we will have yogurt. Means we can have yogurt anywhere. And then we make our own milk. The reason being, Carl used to work at a, a milk producing plant and most of it is powdered milk anyway. So it's just reconstituted, blah, blah, blah. So, and by doing this, we get like 10 litres of milk that weighs a kilo. So that saves us a lot in weight and rubbish. We don't have all the rubbish that's coming with the cartons. So I just have a, a litre shaker that I make it in. Really, it does taste fine, which my mother will laugh at because I hated powdered milk when I was a kid. And I've got one this colour and a purple one so that we know the difference as to whether it's fat milk or not fat milk. I buy stock this way. I used to buy liquid stock, but you know, for weight factor, this is way better. So yeah, this, this makes some um, litres and litres of um, stock in comparison to, once again, carrying cartons of stock. Stock cubes I found would go sticky and be useless. So yeah, that's why I've resorted to this. So always have stock in the cupboard. There's a tractor going past. And then a truck going past. I make our own cleaning products and things like that. This is a hand wash. So it's just liquid tea tree soap. So make that, uh, like the multi-purpose bench spray. I've got all the products to make toothpaste so if necessary if we run out I can make toothpaste I have recipes for all sorts of things like that and you'll find them on our website I make all my own spices so you know Moroccan spice Cajun spices all that stuff then we also have our soda stream so we used to buy like two litre bottles of coke and yeah just found the weight factor is just way too much i love soda water so and you know the rubbish again is ridiculous so yeah we bought the soda stream and make our own soda water and that sort of thing obviously you're aware that we like to forage hence um the shingles beach episode and the crab episode eventually we hope to catch some fish but it hasn't been our priority as yet we will get there and hopefully we'll get some whoppers. But until then, we'll keep foraging what we can with the sand fire and everything. I also have my preserving, my canning unit. So that means that if we get a glut of meat that we need to sort of utilize, actually can it. 
So it means you just put the raw ingredients in and put it in the boiler. This is the easy version. Um, and you make your canned stew and that sort of thing for future use. And that way it doesn't take up fridge space. I bake our own bread. So to save gas, you cook the bread in the slow cooker. and you only cook it when you've got good weather. So you're actually just using the sun to cook your bread through the solar. We have quite a large solar arrangement on the roof, so of the van and the truck, so that allows us to be off grid for a much longer time. So the last time we actually were plugged in was in Harndorf, and that's because we were staying in a caravan park and we figured we may as well. Prior to that, I I think was back at home, like at, in Strasloki, when we were in the paddock. So, so yeah, we really don't actually need to go to a caravan park because they're really not supplying us anything. We have six water tanks. Two of them are drinking water, which a lot of people think that's quite excessive, but yeah, we, we use it, so, and it means, again, we can be off-grid for far longer. Uh, we can then just actually, if need be, we can take the truck and fill up water and then come back and, and like, sterilise it. So that's really, really handy. The truck holds 300 litres and the tanks in the van are 690 litres. So plenty of water can last quite a long time. We obviously did our quarantine. We cryovac and that means that if you cryovac, say, a piece of meat, it will last two weeks in the fridge cryovac without needing to freeze it. Or if you freeze it, it will last two weeks in the fridge after defrost. So it just gives a, a bigger life span and it means that, you know, you can utilise your freezer space a bit better and your fridge space a bit better. I'm happy to make spice mixes and stuff like that or a loaf of bread in exchange for something else, you know. So if you ever see us on the road and you've got something you think we might need and, you know, you need a loaf of bread or something, let me know and yeah maybe we can arrange something we ensure that we have a lot of flour we make our own pizza dough and as you've seen carl make short crust pastry we just try and make everything we can i bagged out this morning caught 20. i went and dropped some off at lionel's house and this is the rest i'm gonna pop them in the fridge now Okay, it's time to cook the Christmas cake in the Travel Buddy. So we're just going to preheat it. So I've uh, popped the temperature to about 160, 170. And then because the timer only goes 120 minutes, I'll have to reset that a couple of times. Altogether, the cake will cook for approximately three and a quarter hours to three and a half hours first time in the travel buddy we'll see how we go okay so to start with we're going to line the pan with some baking paper three cups brown sugar so we're doubling the mixture and you will find this recipe on our website and I will place it in the description below now we've just got to do the butter 
just going to zap that in the microwave. And then we want a cup of olive oil. Super sticky. Mm. Tastes like licorice. And combine that. Butter, the brown sugar, treacle, and some olive oil. Next goes the nut. Sorry if my bat wings are wobbly. <laughs> Let's go outside. The snow is falling down, and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me, with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each okay, other Okay, so for the first two and a half hours, and watch you actually cook it with oil. Songs that we love. Get all the Christmas songs that we love. And then while we're gonna Take this one go out. inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas a moment we'll fill with love and joy. Mm -mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you. I don't need any presents as long as I spend this day with you. Kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you. Ooh. I'm making plans for what we're gonna do. I feel so blessed that I can be with you. Cause God knows that I've been Let's long have a look. for you. Yeah, I just wanna hold you close. You know the Ooh, stars yeah, it's gonna shine just for you. Let's take a walk. And we can follow the moon until we reach a place we can stay. Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want I've just bought the Christmas cake inside Out of the travel buddy We're gonna take the cake Out of the tin For a start So If you don't know this little trick Look at that, lovely. All cooked in the travel buddy. And then while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is Have to a spend look at this. this. Holy crackers. So I've done this on the outside barbecue, just in the boiler. And when I went to turn it out, I've just used the, the cake tray that came from the cake tin to tip it onto. And when it cools right down, then yeah, I'll wrap it up and make it all pretty for Christmas. Okay, so this is the end result of the Travel Buddy fruit cake, Christmas cake. Now, the last one that I made, I made a bit too fruity. Well, as you can see, this one I don't think is fruity enough. So, if you go to the website, you'll find the recipe. I would suggest that you use 
750 grams of fruit instead of the 500 grams that I've recommended on there. The last time I made one, it was a, a kilo of fruit. <laughs> Thanks and for watching, is, and don't forget to subscribe. Pudding. If you want a reminder, hit the bell. For Christmas. And remember, we always love a thumbs up. From our family to yours, have a safe and happy Christmas and a fantabulous new year. In our upcoming episodes, we're leaving Cow and heading down towards Port Neal. So stay tuned to see what we get up to.